how to keep your body safe. This video will explore safety and the fight or flight response and steps on how to begin to create safety in your body. The fight or flight response is a sign that our body doesn't feel safe. We're constantly scanning our environment outside of our awareness of even doing that through a process called neuroception. And when we perceive a threat in our environment for whatever reason, our body begins to respond. You might feel your heart rate or your blood pressure increase. You might feel your breathing change. You might notice your skin gets pale or flushed in appearance. You might even feel tension or trembling in your body. These are all signs that your body is not feeling safe in that moment. So how do you begin to create safety in your body? The first step you can do is to change your environment, of course, whenever that's possible. This means becoming conscious of how your space, physical and virtual, how your relationships, how your experiences and how the things that you consume affect your body. Notice how you feel when you sign on to that Instagram account. Do you notice these markers of threat in your body? Notice how you feel when you walk into that room. Is there something about the energy that is making you feel unsafe? If and when you can, avoid making those choices. Avoid engaging or consuming only content that doesn't activate that fight or flight response. We have so much more choice and so much more empowerment as we become aware of how our outside environment affects us and making a choice when or how much we want to consume that can help create safety in our bodies. If you don't look at the thing that's stressful, your body can keep itself feeling safe. The other way that we can create safety in our body, of course, is by changing how we're coping with our environment through practices of nervous system regulation. There's three that I want to suggest to all of you listening right now. The first is through the incredible power of our breath. By learning how to breathe slowly, calmly, maybe even deeply from our belly, that can help create calm even when our body stress response is activated. The second tip is to begin to ground yourself into your body by focusing your attention on the soles of your feet, maybe even taking your shoes off and really feeling what it is to be firmly planted on the ground. For a lot of us, that can help calm our body's agitated energy and downshift us from that fight or flight response. A third suggestion is by using another human or a pet or a pillow something that helps us feel safe, creating contact, especially when it's another calm, regulated human, that can help bring our stressed out body back into calm. I'd love to hear from you. Have you tried any of these tips and how is it going in creating safety in your body? Leave it in the comments below.